Hey everyone, I'm Chan. So about a year ago, I saw Grand and Road was selling this really cool butterfly dome, but I loved it. I just didn't love the price. I think it was fifty dollars, and I thought that was a little steep. So I said I can make that. Well, first I said let me wait till it goes on sale, and then it went on sale. But it wasn't a real sale, so it sold out. They're not bringing it back, and so I finally made it. If you're interested in learning how to make this dupe that I made for less than half the price, please keep on watching. To make this butterfly dome, you will need pliers, floral wire, a glue gun, black and gold paint, a glass dome, paint brushes, paper butterflies, and moss. The first thing I did was cut the wires off the backs of the butterflies. These are usually stuck in bouquets or wreaths, so that's why the wire is there in the first place. Do not buy the ones with the clips on the back, because you will break the butterfly trying to remove the clips. After I removed all the wires, I painted the fronts and backs of each butterfly with two coats of black paint. Once they were dry, I painted them gold. To give them a more aged look, I used a dry paintbrush for the gold and less paint so the black would show through. Next, I created the stands for the butterflies. I decided the length of the wire by how tall the glass dome was. I took one end of the wire and twisted it into a spiral shape, I say that loosely. I put a slight bend on the other end of the wire the length of the butterfly. So for the bigger ones, I'd say about one inch and for the small butterflies, about half an inch. To attach the wire to the base, I applied hot glue to the base and stuck the wire in it and then held it there for maybe like 10 seconds, I think. This prevents it from falling over. And then I applied hot glue to the butterfly and attached it to the top of the wire and held it there as well so it wouldn't fall off. As you can see, I mapped out where I roughly wanted the rest of the butterflies to go. I ended up bending the wings back on all of them to add a bit of movement so that they looked less flat when you rotated them around in the dome. I attached them to the base where I saw fit and adjusted them as the glue dried. Don't worry too much about the glue being messy or adjusting the wires because all of this will disappear once you put the moss in or whatever filler you choose. Speaking of the moss, once the glue is dried, begin placing it on the base and between the wires and wherever you see fit. You can go as high as you want. That's pretty organic about the placement. Hello, fam. total was $20. I did already own the moss and the paint, but that may bump it up to $25, but that's still half the price. And I'm pretty proud of it, and it looks so cute, and I finally have my butterfly dome. <laughs> if you really like this video, give it a like. Definitely leave suggestions down below if you want to see me do more high-end dupes. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!